welcome back to my channel. So today I am recreating the look worn by Miss Jenny Lynn from the movie The Greatest Showman. So if you all want to see that, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so we are going to start off this tutorial with the Professional Pearl Primer because I do want something that is matte yet with a bit of glow. And for foundation, I wanted to go a little bit lighter, so I'm taking the Born This Way in the shade Nude, and I am just taking one pump of that because we can always go back for more. But once again, like I said, I do want to go for something a little bit lighter, so I am taking a brush here and just kind of dotting it. And then just kind of blending that out and then seeing if we need a little bit more coverage. So I think that the layer of foundation looks really good and really natural. And if you have seen the movie, then you can tell that she's not all full glam, caked up, just too much makeup but she has enough for light and natural, yet still with a touch of glam. So we are blending that out. Alrighty, to set our concealer, I am taking the e.l.f. setting powder. And even though this is drugstore and whatnot, I actually really like it and it is really good quality. No flashback, it holds in place, and I just really love it. So while we are letting that set, I'm going to do my brows. Alrighty, and if you see me kind of looking down or around, I have a picture for reference. So her brows are very thin and natural. And I am just taking my NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil because I think this will really give me the definition that I need. And now just taking a fluffy brush and dusting off that excess powder. And she does have quite a bit of contour going there, so I'm taking my Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 and taking the bronzing shade. And you always want to go in light at first. So as you can see, that gives a very good definition. And to help sharpen up that contour, I'm just going back with the e.l.f. setting powder. And on an angled sponge here, I'm just going to be cutting that and letting that bake. And going with the blush of Will You Marry Me because this is a very pink, but it has almost that iridescent to it. And brushing off that baking. As you can see, that did give a good amount of definition. And taking a smaller brush, I'm going in back with the bronzer and contouring the nose. Alright, so off camera, I have simply put the Ulta Eye Primer in Champagne to prime my eyes. And I am taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I am taking the shade White Chocolate and setting the lids. Taking the shade Salted Caramel and putting that in the crease, just to help warm it up and yet still have a neutral and natural color. And once again in the movie, her makeup is not heavy, except for her obvious 
brilliant bold red lips and I am just taking my finger here and picking up the shade marzipan and putting that all over the lid it's a very very simple look and I am simply taking the Too Faced chocolate gold palette and taking the shade sassy and classy and it just pressing that lightly over the lid and as you can see that is still the champagne look that she was wearing in the movie going in with a little flat brush just taking the shade salted caramel and running that along the bottom lash line and from what I can tell her eyeliner is somewhat of a pencil so I am taking the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in the shade black. I absolutely love this. I usually use it for my waterline and for tight lining, but this also works really well as like a softer alternative for eyeliner opposed to like a liquid or a gel. I'm going to do the other off camera and then we'll continue on with mascara. Alrighty, so I've curled my lashes off camera and I have also noticed that she does have a little something in her waterline and I am not going to go with black but I'm going to go with a brown. So this is the CoverGirl Perfect Point 210 Espresso and we are just going to put it in there but not all the way, probably to about here so maybe about two thirds. go it still gives some definition while keeping it open as for mascara it is a lighter mascara so I'm taking the covergirl peacock flare going back in with a smaller brush just taking the shade white chocolate and just putting that right under the brows just to help give it a little bit of highlight and lift and on a little bit smaller brush, I'm taking the shade Champagne Truffle and putting that as the inner tear duct highlight. Alrighty, so now it is time for lips. So I am taking the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Red the Scene. And what I have tried so far, Wet n Wild lip liners are my favorite. They go on smooth and amazing. The color is great. Everything blends smoothly. And of course, with Jenny Lynn, she has her classic bold red lips. And I feather it in just a little bit just to help make it a little bit more natural and smoother looking for a transition. So for the red lipstick I will be taking the Simply Red by NYX and it is the lip cream in the shade Russian Roulette. As you can see that is a beautiful red lip and I am taking a fluffy brush in my Too Faced Peach Blur Blurring Powder and I am just setting it with the NYX Dewy Finish and we are good! Alrighty so I had a lot of fun creating this Jenny Lind look. The Greatest Showman is one of my favorite movies of all time. It has a wonderful soundtrack. It is well choreographed. It is just a fantastic movie to watch, very inspirational. And I just wanted to recreate Jenny's makeup look because I found it such a classic, bold yet simple look. So, if you like this tutorial, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the awesome social media shout out down below. My social media links are there as well. Love you guys. Bye.